and we are recording. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Uh, <clears throat> so last week, um, we had some some funerals, some some sad boy times. Uh, we returned to Serenia so that we could lay to waste or lay, lay to rest rather uh, <laughs> <laughs> lay, lay, to, lay to rest uh, Edward's traitor sister um, and the bestest best boy that anyone ever knew Fenny uh, there were two separate funeral events one of them much more private than the other uh, and afterwards uh, before saying their goodbyes uh, K- er, Reelan made a deal with K2 to restore the site of his grandfather uh, and also as a kind of a mutual effort worked together to find a, a lady boar to bring back to Durinfell in Everhold um, uh, after concluding both of the funerals uh, the parties kind of said their final goodbyes to uh, to their allies and also we got Darkalion back so that's great Really psyched yeah, about yeah. that. Um, Go out am time. I missing anything? Yeah, you I met Tammy. So. Oh, yeah, I met Tammy. Uh, there, there, there were some other things that happened, but. We also met the king of High Golf. Briefly. Yeah. It's true. So I don't. Did we get his name? No. Uh, no, you did not. Okay. I, I was trying to remember it. I was like, wait. Nope. I refer to him only as your king. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. King a king face. Yep. Perfect. There you go. But yeah. Yeah, the party is now technically three members lighter, gained one back that was already lost, and now they must continue on their way, not knowing exactly where they're going or what they're doing. But they'll be fine. I'm sure. sure. Jokes on you. I never know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Edward, Fenny, Freeland. Oh, the third one's not going to wasn't. Hmm? I'm st- Edward's still technically with him at the, at the current moment. Oh, right. I couldn't. I, I, that's the, yeah, that was the, one, the biggest cause... thing I was trying to reconcile was whether or not you stayed in Serenity or not. I couldn't remember. No, because we got to get. We, we got to get Mrs. Atramir back, and I was going to have Atramir carry his wife's decomposing corpse. Fair. All right. Okay. Yeah. So my, two party my, members my, my lighter. <laughs> so yeah, two party members lighter, but ne- nonetheless hopeful. Anyways. Yep. And that's what you missed on Desperate Housewives of California. <laughs> Thank you for not saying Glee. Uh, I didn't want to, trust me. <laughs> I feel like that's worse, though. <laughs> worse? Or better? I mean, both are awful, but anyway. Yeah. That's my input. Uh, so yeah, you guys ended off... Uh, I believe going downstairs... Uh, show their that they can yeah, see yeah. Give them a heads up on how this house is a fucking disaster. Uh, yeah, we 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 just met Tammy. Yep. Yeah, you just to get introduced to Tammy. So, yep. so, sorry, sorry, not met, encountered. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Experience. You, you, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, actually, no, no. I, no, I agree, you have Joshua. Not. You have encountered Tammy. No, it was experience. an encounter. It was an encounter of the fourth kind. <laughs> Sexual? You don't, you don't experience Tammy yet. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe if you play your cards right. Yep. <laughs> oh, Edward does need a new boyfriend now. <laughs> oh fuck you! <laughs> now that it's here, I don't know how to contain my joy because I've been looking forward to this for months. Um, don't, Krita. <laughs> Look forward to nothing. Joy will be stolen from you. That's what this campaign is about. Jesus Christ. Uh, hi, golf bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay. Joy is a lie, comfort is a lie, safety is a lie, you're all going to die. Good. Bring it. Anyways. He rhymed lie with lie twice. I never, I didn't, I wasn't rhyming. I was speaking. <laughs> okay, okay, anyways. Hey, Rava, oh, which room downstairs? And be like, so any of these rooms are open except for the very last one. That's mine. Um, I don't recommend leaving your room after dark through the stairs if you must leave as they leave the building through the, through the window. You say, why is that necessary? Yeah. Because my brother and his husband have no chill and do not care that there are people in the house. And after one too many incidences where my parents were here, they have decided that only at night will they be heathens. Noted. In public spaces, at least. Damn, anybody got a hose? Yes. God damn it, Joe. I right. saw the I watch you while you sleep entry. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Well... I guess perhaps I should get started on looking for this shaman individual then. That would probably be the best. Did you get any other than shaman? <laughs> no. That is about all the king uh, told us. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Any idea on where to start? I'm not that familiar with High Gulf, if I'm being completely honest. that but like I don't know what you're talking about I don't even know who to even talk to to see who would know who you're talking of uh, you hear a voice from oh in nearby on the same floor as you but it's kind of muffled and it just says you can probably try talking to the king Rava just takes a really yeah. deep breath in and it's just... Seems to be coming from the linen closet. What the fuck? They have a linen closet? This is a big ass house. Yeah, yeah I'm not surprised. Rava just like deep, takes a deep breath in and goes... And, and like walks over to the door and says, If I open this door, is there gonna be someone fucking naked in here? <laughs> no! No, I'm wearing clothes. Did you open the door? <laughs> you open the door, and there is... There's a gnome. No, sorry, he's a halfling. There's a halfling, uh, strapped in the closet. He's just hanging there, like, Damn outstretched, it. like a starfish. Uh, he's wearing assless chaps facing backwards. Oh. God damn it. I was just instantly gonna close the door again. I... I was really hoping when you said gnome that it was going to be Tom Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that too for a split second. He's back! And he's working for Rava's brother and fiance. Well, watch, this is when Atramir retires and then his family just gets slaughtered by a vengeful Tom <laughs> Eric. No one expected one little man to have so much rage. Uh, she'll just kind of look at everyone and just created the one safe house I had in this entire fucking house you hid in there oh the this this down here she just like ref, like refers to the entire like hallway this the family and guest room area specifically family friends guest room yeah. this was the no touchy zone for their fucking bullshit Yeah, they definitely seem to have an interesting definition of friend. We might want to get on our business before we also fall under that paradigm.
was trapped in a linen closet. That's correct. I think it might be a good starting point. Yeah. shit in a room. Can't promise that there won't be anyone naked in it now. Uh, and uh, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, you all claim a room. Uh, mm -hmm. the rooms are all tidy. There are no naked people in the rooms or the closets or under the beds. Trust They're me, immediately one visible. Would, one of them would definitely be stabbed if there were. Several of them would be. <laughs> yeah! Edward would actually use the shovel as a weapon. Ed Edward doesn't really have a need to claim a room right now. Yeah. Probably like let's see if they actually come down. It's just no one's come back downstairs yet, have they? No. Cool. Just um, yell upstairs. We'll be back. We need to talk to the kingliness. There'll be seven of us for dinner. Love you. Bye. And they just usher everyone out the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, picture she's doing that as she's pushing all of us out. <laughs> Soon as you go, say, go, Love go, you, go, bye, go. That's it. Like. Yep. Bye. It's kind of like when you um, call on like the payphones. So mm -hmm. Say it real quick. Yeah. yeah. You gotta collect call. Yeah, but in the space where you say your name, so you don't have to actually pay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's go find the king again. Sure. I mean, I assume we just head back down to the docks. That's a pretty safe bet. Considering he seemed... He, he was working there for a bit. Baba has but... no idea where else to find him, so hopefully... <laughs> yeah, yeah. where's like the Royal Palace? I don't know. I assume it's on the dock. He just sleeps no, no, there. No, no, no. Look, the Royal Palace is his wife's domain. Eh, you know, fair. So unless something really got fucked up, no touchy. <laughs> we don't go there. It is a cursed place. <laughs> no, she's just a very fucking busy lady. Yeah, you uh, you walk back down to the docks. It is, and I mean this in the nicest way possible. It is not that hard to spot the king. It really is. I don't know. I, I feel like there's a lot of people with just two massive hands trailing behind them here. Yeah, but he's also jacked as fuck. Like, you can't miss him. See, oh, okay, that part isn't the weird part. <laughs> no, it's the giant hands. Like, I get it, because... Yeah. They are bigger than he is. Like... <laughs> yeah! No shit! Him being jacked, that's not weird. You kind of have to be to work on a duck. The two hands? Kind of a dead giveaway. Yeah. It's like trying to spot the fridge in the Echo. Mm. Except this man's a motherfucking Maytag. <laughs> this man's a fucking boss compared to your fridge. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yeah. It is a large difference. <laughs> Robert grabs onto the, the small fridge, people and drags us through the crowd again. <laughs> he's a furnace. That's good. That's good. Well, well, yeah, we started calling Ashbury the fridge because he's big and also from a gold place. Oh, yeah, fair. It's quite warm here. Does that make sense? Yeah. Exactly. He's even he intended he's... like that. I was just sizing appliances. Yeah. <laughs> water heaters. <laughs> I've seen some Anyways. small hot water heaters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you see the king still at work on the dock. Uh, he seems to be loading crates onto a ship this time, instead of off of another ship. 
Although he's kind of taking a break. The hands are doing all the work. <laughs> he, he's just he's, like sitting on one of the crates being ferried by the hand. Well, he, he, he's actually in the middle of a conversation, uh, oh, okay. sitting on top of one of the crates. And the hands are like, he's just sitting there motioning with his hands as he's very expressive when he talks. And the two hands just seem to be coming and going as they're picking up crates and loading them onto this dock. Uh, before one of them picks him up on the crate and moves him onto the ship, and then picks him up and moves him back off. <laughs> still talking the whole time. Yeah, still talking the whole time. He has to shout as he's moving further and further away, but yeah, eventually as he comes back, it just sets him back. That's um, funny. When he's shouting, he, he seems to be talking in a language that none of you understand. What? I understand so- No, I don't. <laughs> the person who understood all the languages isn't fucking here right now. Mm-hmm. He's off That's finding shit. himself a bear. I'm a... I mean, I know what he's saying. Stand next to the guy he's talking to and just kind of wait. Oh! <laughs> like but you're not here. <laughs> True. She doesn't know what they're saying, but she's waiting her turn to say shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, after a few minutes, the, uh, their conversation concludes, and the individual seems to not be looking the happiest, but... Mm. <laughs> it's a messenger from his wife. Come home, you jackass. <laughs> uh, they seem no. to be talking about... Since... Actually, no, Darkalian's not there. So. Yeah, 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 Darkalian's not, yeah. not with us, so we have no idea. Damn, yeah, I forgot I for a moment. I, I, I mean, other than, like, I guess maybe... Yeah, like, topic of conversation, no fucking idea. No. Like, general yeah. intonation would be about it, but... Yeah, he, the the not-so-happy expression on... Or I, it's, I guess it's more of a defeated expression on, on the face of the individual that is being spoken with. Hmm. It, it's just more of the, uh... The accurate you haven't term. paid your dog fee. Mm, fuck you! Bumpers. Hi. So yeah, you uh, you patiently wait your turn, uh, and <laughs> soon after, the uh, the king turns back to you guys and back to common says, "Uh, you're back." Um, actual Hi. question that matters more than any my brother. Wish I had it. Anyways, uh, shaman. I'm sorry, Chris's brain just like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if it was Krista or if it was just the internet saying no again. Oh, that was Krista's brain. <laughs> uh. there'd be some there's some shaman here in High Wolf. I don't I don't know where to start with that man. Um, that strange man in my linen closet suggested that I should ask you. Strange man in your linen closet. No, to be precise. Halfling. Halfling. Okay, halfling. Yeah, sorry. Specifics aren't important in this instance. Well, if you're looking for a shaman, uh, you could try speaking to my wife. I feel like there was a long pause between my and wife. She seems to understand more of the finer cultures of the city. And I just don't care. You just prefer the docks. I prefer to... Uh... For, uh here. Just 
Give her my shoe. <laughs> You're already going home again, aren't you? No, she just... She bought these for me, so she knows it's for me. So if you hand her my shoe, she'll know that I sent you. Didn't mean to make that rhyme, but here we are. Are you sure that might not... Be misconstrued? Okay. No, you know what? It's you know fine. What? Fine, okay. It's fine. It words. works. Don't quit your day job, though, please. I, t I've, I try. <laughs> they won't let me. So I work here. I tried, they won't uh, let me. Uh, fair. They won't let you quit officially. Yeah. They just make you keep well, the title. That's good perks. I can openly drink in public and not get mad at myself for it. <laughs> None of you can do that, though. That's fine. The docs to drink free. That's probably for the best, yeah. Don't need somebody drunk falling into the ocean again. Falling into the ocean while sober is already dangerous enough, yeah. That brings a new meaning to the word dry dock. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Chris. Anyway. Chris's brain is just like, God damn it. Right, so shoe to the Shoe power. to wife. Or okay. No, we, we, yeah, okay. Use it. Use it. Okay. I mean, the plus side is, is, is the guards will or that he's alive. So, that's a plus. Mm -hmm. If things I... Somebody's gonna fucking murder you. Alright, hey, well. I mean, the guards kind of actively avoid hanging out with me because they know that I'll put them to work. Yes. But I know for a fact she still makes them at least see you. Make sure you're. Yeah, right. they're up on the ridge. <laughs> she, he, he just points up and you see that there's like five people up on top of the cliff just looking down, watching. Every so often, one pulls out some binoculars, like, yep, he's alive. Well, they're not that far away. And then I'm pretty sure you could tell that he's still alive because of the hands. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there's, just, there's just a singular guy who's always on staff to just sit there. <laughs> For real, yeah. He is home what? so little. That that's all they fucking do is they just, yeah, he's good. Do you see the hands? Yep, I see the hands. Alright, cool. Well. We should. Have a good day. Rava, I assume you know the way. <laughs> she's fucking hopes. As she's dragging K2 and Edward through the crowd again. <laughs> and just look for the big longhouse. It's like a giant tent. <laughs> You can't super miss it. She's in there somewhere. Just call for her name. I just kind of like pauses at that one. She's just like, yeah. Yeah. Name. I know what that is. Krista personally doesn't. Uh, but also. That's the actual ruler of High Golf. So oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we've all gathered that. <laughs> She's the one actually in charge. Yeah, he is king in title only. Behind every man is an even greater woman. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to... He just wants to go fishing. <laughs> he goes fist fishing. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Better than trying to make it a portmanteau. Yep. Don't get any more fun with that. Anyways, yeah, I guess... I guess we follow Rafa, because she knows where that is. Joel, we were told. Yep. 
yeah, you head back up to the <laughs> the cliff side or the cliff top. <laughs> up, down, up. Hey, up. Oh man, uh, get our cardio in today. Fuck. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. You wander through the smaller residential district. It's not really a district residential setting before coming across the rather <laughs> long house. The residential uh, as it, it basically is well, like you would imagine. Uh, long. A picture of Viking Longhouse. That's what it is. It's not a castle. It's a longhouse. I mean, that's fair. Yep. That that checks out. Uh, as well as a lot of the nearby buildings are in this style. Uh, the doors to the longhouse are opened. And there are a couple of guards standing, but none of them are really on alert. They're having a conversation with each other. Uh, Rava, you know that High Golf is very peaceful. They are not concerned in the slightest about your presence. Um, <laughs> They're there for just in case. Yep. Uh, um. Although, if, if you do approach, you do know that they will ask you to disarm. Since you can't bring weapons inside. What? That's fine. Guess I'll just cut off my hands. God. No. Again. <laughs> guess again. I'll have to cut off, yeah, I guess I'll have to cut off my hands and then he just starts using subtle spell again. <laughs> God damn it, K2. <laughs> I can't be stopped. <laughs> look, look, that's fine. Ed Edward no surgery. We can take your hands off and put them back on. <laughs> they also might not be your hands. Fine, don't worry about it. Oh no, we got the hands mixed up. Look, guys, I'm a Rakshasa. <laughs> Hey, man! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I stuck Phil on one of them. Look! God damn it. All I'm saying is, if we had a pair of troll arms, you could have longer reach. I hate that Mike can do the joke of, look, Ma, no hands. Fireball. Anyway, uh, as you guys, I'm assuming you take off your weapons. Yep, all yeah, of them are respective containers do i even have an actual weapon? okay i i actually do have a couple more weapons i was <laughs> like do i have anything else than the shovel god damn it this is this is gonna be the scene from sinbad for me because i have the hand axe the long sword the war hammer and eight yeah. fucking hand axes yeah yeah you, you're the fighter of course <laughs> yeah you hand over the the, the war hammer and they're looking at it like holy shit Ooh. this thing is this is expensive. <laughs> you should probably that. just gathered around like, ooh, shiny. Yeah, they don't touch it. They like, they just look at it because you put yeah. it into a bin, and then you write <laughs> your name on it so that they know. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like airport security. I mean, pretty much. Take your personal effects, put them on the conveyor belt. Yeah, I was picturing yeah. more uh, the. The little bins that they have at uh, roller coasters. Uh, yeah. yeah. Stuff in. I mean, that's that's basically what the it is. Goes on. Yeah. yeah. Just, they just lock it and then open the other ones. <laughs> yeah, they they hand you a little placard that you can write your name on, and they stick that to the bin, and then they hand you a copy of it, so that when you come back, you just hand them the copy, and then you can get your stuff back. But if you lose your copy, you're fucked. Cool. We thought you to keep your shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, after me, Robert, don't lose it. I think mm -hmm. the other. <laughs> um. Boy, after that, it's just be like, where could I find Her Majesty? Exactly. Listen, his king is said to call for. I'm not doing that. Uh, inside, probably. Either in her garden, sitting on the throne. She might be asleep. Honestly, it's hard to say. This is terrifying. Thanks! You can just call for your majesty if it appeases you better. I don't like the thought of yelling for her in general. 
<laughs> I just like the fact that that Rava asks because she doesn't want to do that, and they end. <laughs> Yeah, you can just do that thing you don't want to do. That's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. That was cool. <laughs> Me? Yes. Go oh, ahead. She'll just. God, I hate this. Uh, and just while like holding his boot, just be like, call out for Her Majesty. I'm not actually gonna yell. Over it. <laughs> Uh, a few moments later, she just comes walking out from off screen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, she seems to be carrying a pot that has supposed to have a plant in it, but it currently does not. And she just looks at all of you and says, "You're carrying a shoe." Yep. I asked him for help, but he said to come to you, and I asked if you actually had time, and he gave me his boot. <laughs> oh, typical. Uh, well, this is my free time, so you're welcome to join me in the garden while I garden, and you can speak with me. This way. All right. <laughs> she just turns and starts walking. <laughs> yeah. Follow the lady actually in power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, and, and give me a shoe. Give her back the shoe. You give her the shoe. She flicks her wrist, and the shoe disappears. I imagine she like threw it at him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the equivalent of just, like, throwing it at him. Yeah. She, uh, enters into a side room that has, uh, the roof of it seems to be all hatches that are all opened. Uh, shining a lot of light down into this garden. Hmm. All right. What is it you're here for? Specifically, we're seeking somebody who can cast powerful resurrective magic. Just kind of like point at Edward. That. Yeah. Well, you found her. Ah. You're fine. That's convenient, then, I suppose. Well, then. Shaman is not necessarily a title I would go by, but. Powerful resurrection magic is something that I can do. Yeah. Right. You all seem perfectly healthy. It's not um... like you've carried a corpse into my throne room or anything. Very <laughs> looks sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would just kind of like put on a, a smile and just about that. Yeah. Look at Edward. <laughs> Edward suddenly finds in interest in all the plants around. Technically, no. Technically, no. Yeah. But yes. Technically, no. But yes. He he got a bag. It should just point out. You've stuffed a corpse into a bag. Magic bag. You stuffed a corpse into a magic bag. It's technically an extra dimensional space that can only hold dead tissue, but yeah. Too technical. Fair. I think she stopped caring. Okay. Show me the corpse then. Gestures to Edward. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Robert takes a step back. It's all you, buddy. You got this. Uh yep, takes uh -oh. like Takes about, a step back. About how long has it been? Like three weeks? Unfortunately, too damn. Yeah, it's been 
Yeah, about three weeks. I'm trying to think how much decay would happen in three weeks. A lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pretty significant amount. Um, Not to mention the number of spells this thing has been struck by. Corpse. Mm -hmm. This corpse has been... Yeah. At least it's still intact. I might, yeah, I... I might have stolen some bones from it once. I only did the bone cage once. Uh. All right. Uh, well, at least we have the diamond to use for it. Yeah. It, okay. Uh. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Look in. Realize the condition. It's not the prettiest. Astrum is gonna turn around. <laughs> and. But, okay. Take it out. <laughs> Probably, um, uh, assisted in part from within by my, uh, ghoul, as Edward <laughs> is not strong. <laughs> You're like, here you go, boo. Uh, you, you, <laughs> the ghoul, like, pushes it out. Yeah, you, exactly. Uh, you, you, like, pull the, the corpse out, and it's just kind of flimsy, like it's missing half of its bones. Mm. Very. Right. <laughs> she just like set her on the ground slightly as as the aroma hit fills the the room. Thankfully, it's aerated. Yeah. Uh, she just like like turns momentarily. She's like, oh. hands Gross. over the diamond because I'm turned around. I yeah. Press to digitate the body to smell better. <laughs> a wise decision. It is an object. What, uh... What'd you do to her? That is a woman, right? Yes. yes. She was the victim of an attack. A rather vicious one. Clearly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like her most of her skin is missing. Yes. Half of her bones. There's it's a long a story. Of stab wounds. Yeah. I can only guess that was an attempted scalping. Yes. It's a long story. Oh god, we have Vesic with us. Vesic is also turned around. I know, but still. There's very much a uh, attribute is the being the parent who's covering the eyes and the ears. <laughs> okay, good. I was also like next to him so that Vesic can't like squirm and hit me. Yeah. Extra protection to not see poor mommy. Trauma. Yeah. Avoiding all trauma as possible. Trauma. Mm. Trauma. So yeah, we we don't need to have him relive it. Okay. Dead longer than I could fix, so. And someone with a little more. stronger ability. I can't do this music anymore. She's. <laughs> she's been dead a lot longer than most people can fix. I am. aware. We've had, unfortunately, more pressing things. A lot of danger. And we me have a chance to yeah. get this done. Doesn't seem like a warrior. Who is she, she to some of you? She is my wife. You poor soul. She's I'm... also quite formidable. I'm going to be completely honest. I have to assume this person is being more empathetic than Josh is letting on. <laughs> no, that's what she says. Well, yeah, but it's just your voice. Is it the deadpan, Josh? Yeah. No, it's, it's not the deadpan. It's more... That, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. Josh's dead tone of voice. No, it's, it's more endearing. Okay, good. If this was, Zor if this was Zorsha, I would understand. <laughs> Yeah. This is this is coming from somebody who's like, oh god. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Good. To- well, do you have the necessary cost to bring her back? Gestures to the diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Take the diamond from Atramir to hand it off. I hope that'll be that'll be uh, enough. It's enough. This is quite a long spell to cast. Well, I I will be patient. I have something you can do for me in return. Okay. Since I'll be here for a while casting and preparing, I just have a rather simple task I would like you to undertake for me. Blow up the ocean. (laughs) Okay. Name it. There is an entrance at the dock. One of the many doors on the cliffside. It has the number four over the top of it. It's hidden. It's hard to find. If you find it and enter it, you want to find yourself in a small room. Hidden behind one of the bookshelves is another door. If you go through that door, it will take you to a ladder. And if you go down that ladder, you will find yourself in a sunken part of the city. In that city, I need you to find a plant for me. It glows red. You can't miss it. But the city is underwater. Mm -hmm. So she she looks over at Rava. I'm very confident you can breathe underwater. I just don't know about everybody else. They can't. To be honest, people my size are not known for their ability to swim. Yes, it would be advised to remove your armor. Or you'll be more of an anchor. I need five of these plants. Uh, Okay. Time for the classic MMO quest. The pity of a classic MMO quest. Do they sing, Josh? They make sound. No. no, they do not. They just glow. What do you think? It's a red canis raid or something? We're gonna Sorry. be attacked. Crimson root. Yeah. No, but that is where the inspiration comes from. I know. Wow. Dickhead. I guess you're not finding 30 of them. Oh my god. True. Right. Well. I guess we'll have to figure out something then. Are the second parts of the city known to be home to anything dangerous, or...? They are home to creatures. They've never been dangerous for me. But they have been known to attack people. This is when I get my shit kicked out of me, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. They're a hybrid 
between people and fish. Oh. That inspires two different images, and neither one of them are good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Head of a fish, body of people. No, it's more of what specific <laughs> what specific hybrid of people and fish are we talking about? But Edward doesn't have the context to know there's a difference. Or that there would be more than one. Right, so... Avoid the fish people. Five of these plants will come back. After going through the doors and all that. Yeah. Okay. I usually go down there myself, but I've been so busy. And you'll be here for the next... Interval of time. Yep. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to figure something out then. But fair enough. Best of luck. If one of you dies down there, bring back more roots. That's fair. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, yeah, unless anyone else is doing Edward's gonna fuck off. <gasps> yeah, that Whatever. was definitely a. All right, have fun. Leave. So... Yeah. Mm-hmm. God, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess it's rocking out just. Okay, too. You don't happen to. I don't know. Know some way to make us breathe underwater. Oh god, he's dead. Oh god, he's dead. I hardly knew Mike, but he oh, always are you loved talking puns. To me? Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hear you say my name. Oh, uh, yeah, it might have gotten a little. Yeah, but yeah, to K2, considering the only other person here who knows magic. <laughs> Oh, that's fair. Edward knows he doesn't know how to do that. That's not necromancy. There's not, like, some necromancy spell that makes our lungs no longer need air? That sounds like a necromancy thing. Uh, there is. It's called death. Mm. (laughs) Well. Of of which the school of necromancy is very proficient to cause. I, I do know of a spell, but I don't know it myself. I don't go around water that often so it's not exactly (sighs) up here however um if we find someone who does know the spell i can learn it from them it's like real easy take like two hours (laughs) after we find them I don't know how many spellcasters are in this port side uh, city, though. I, don't know. I guess if any of them were to know a way to have people breathe underwater, this would be the right place to find them. I thought it was like. I heard that. I mean, you say that, or we go as far as we can and let Rafa go on our own, but I don't exactly feel comfortable doing that. Seems like the best 
bit to me. Is, what? Uh, in general, we'll probably be expecting us here in a couple hours, and if we haven't even left in two hours, then. Yeah. I suppose it's very, uh. I have a general idea of where we're going, and it's not just here. Are these things, go find them. But he's actually oh. gave a pretty good, great description of where we're going. Yeah, but just because we know what we're looking for doesn't necessarily mean it'll be easy to find it. Mm-hmm. But whatever. <laughs> Guess let's try to do this as fast as we can in order to. Appease Her Majesty. So I guess we go. Alright. You just headed down there right away? And unless anyone wants to try anything on the way. I would say go get Tori, but Tori is not here, so. <laughs> yeah. On our way there, we can just, like, ask people if they know any, like, mage in town. That would be a bad idea. Yeah, and then if they do, we can go over there and be like... Hey, bro, you got water breathing? I'll trade you. <laughs> okay, what do you have, feeble mind? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what about the ability to speak any language for, uh, with the knowledge of what the language is to begin with? Fine. <laughs> As long as you know what the language is and have heard it for a bit, you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, somebody can make a uh, persuasion check. Oh, it cannot be me. I can ask around. I was like, it's either K2 or Edward. <laughs> but I feel like of the two of them, K2, it makes more sense for. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. My persuasion's not as good as my deception, unfortunately. Well, it's also yeah. you rolled a five. <laughs> that too. Yeah. I mean, it's say it's high enough cool um, you ask around a little bit uh, some people point you down to some of the dock workers um, who would be willing to sell you a scroll of water breathing oh hell yeah perfect yeah, as uh, they they reason it as like yeah they keep supply of them just in case they have to fix a repair underwater uh, specifically with the dock itself because uh, parts of it sometimes get hit by boats. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. So they would sell it to you for under gold. Cool. Cool. I, uh, look over at everybody else and I'm like... We haven't made any money in a while, and my pockets are running a little empty. Anyone want to help with this? I'll, 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 I'll pay for it, it's fine. I have Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna have to find someone else to start spreading rumors about, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> no one's as much fun, though. Well, at least you're honest about it. 
Maybe if we pick up any new people. <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> Smash cut. <laughs> Smash cut, all our backup characters just... New people? <laughs> new people? <laughs> Uh, that'd be so fucking funny, though. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Between you and Briar, are you sure anyone's gonna want to? Edward, remember the... the small army I built in, like, a day? <laughs> Alright, fair. Is Briar present? Are you sure? <laughs> we, we won't tell them about Briar, Briar right away. That'll be a fun little <laughs> surprise. You know, at that point, that's your problem, not mine. Yep. Any hoosers. Cool. Can any of us actually cast water <laughs> I can. <laughs> yeah, I that's can. true. I'm I was also planning on just copying it into my spell book. Nah, you know, fair. So maybe we should get two. So we can use one now, and K2 can have, an have one for later. Well, if you're willing to wait the two hours for me to copy it, I could just have it forever. And I don't even need a long rest to do it. I think by the time we do that, she'll be done. I, I mean, there wasn't really a time limit on when we needed to get well yeah i didn't think this was like a time sensitive thing i just thought we wanted to all go down there as a group so that we didn't oh uh, uh, yeah, little... she, literally, she literally just said that she's gonna be up there for a while because she's gotta yeah. get ready but in the meantime go do that yeah so. i think the, i think the implication might be that she does use them for the ritual but not that she needed them like immediately mm -hmm. yeah Oh, wait. Actually, you know what? I thought water breathing was a lower level spell. It's no, I think it's like a third hours. level. Yeah. yeah, it would take yeah. six hours for me to copy that. Welp! Yeah, we should probably get two then. <laughs> they have to? I would imagine so. Or at least someone has another one somewhere they're willing to share. God. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's other dock workers. Okay. Yeah, I'd say you could buy another one for another hundred gold. Let this be my last gift to you. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> An avocado. Avocado! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Okay, so K2 has a scroll as as a scroll of water breathing for later and then can cast it now. Yep. That last what, eight hours? Twenty-four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, water walking is eight. That's what it is. Cool. God, this is such a 90s feel-good movie song. <laughs> <laughs> it clashes with the darkness in my soul. Oh, sorry, I wanted to fix that. <laughs> I couldn't even say that with a straight face! Yeah, I... I'm so edgy and cool. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Right. All right. So. So, you guys follow the. Uh, actually, somebody's gonna have to make an, an investigation or perception check to find this door first. I mean, I could do investigation. Um, real quick, Josh. Yeah. I also want to just like keep an eye out, just for like any like jobs or bounties that anybody else in town might want seeing how it's been a while since we've had like a mission where we actually got paid for it <laughs> yeah I need some spending cash there <laughs> yeah all the shit we've done has literally been because we forced ourselves to do it yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean 
the most common one that people do here uh, is help on the docks. How much uh, does that actually, pay? Uh, for every hour that you work, they pay uh, 10 gold. That's actually not bad. That yeah, not that bad. Jesus, it's pretty not lucrative. Bad. Bad. Not yeah. that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty lucrative. Uh, plus, there that th anything that's loose, like anything that gets lost and found, basically on the ships, uh, goes into an unclaimed bucket. So and then you might be able to time. take home some extra stuff. An unclaimed bucket. How, yep. Wait, how does that work? What? Yeah, anything that like falls out of cargo. Yeah, but yeah. like, how how does it like if it's an un like is it just if it's in the bucket anybody can take it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, at the end of the day. Oh, okay, any, I thought you're yeah, any of the dock workers. I was like, what is it like a fucking raffle or something? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, it's the fucking bucket. It's the fucking bucket. Bucket is the fucking bucket. <laughs> yeah, when you say fuck it, throw it in the bucket. Alright, well, that's good to know, in case we want to spend some time just making money on the dock. <laughs> yeah, in case K2 wants, wants to put in some hard labor hours. <laughs> Wait, you yeah. think I'm not capable of, of labor? More capable than I am. <laughs> I have yeah. a strength of 8. <laughs> I have a strength of 13. I'm stronger than the average person. Uh, yeah. Hello. I'm not. It's it's those noble genes. <laughs> He's wearing the special jeans. He's cheap. Yeah. His special pants. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I can do investigation. Yep. Uh. Nice. All right. Yeah, you pretty easily find the door marked number four. I was really worried I was going to roll like a one. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck. Yeah, that would be wild. Yeah, it would have still been an 11, but... Yeah, you find the four door, you enter into a small room, four and door by small door. room, I really mean small room. It's a five by five room. Oh god! So it's, that's... it's big enough for one person. That's claustrophobic. Yeah. And... <sighs> It's just a couple bookshelves that are, like, half empty uh, with your 26 because she told you that there's a door there. Yeah. Uh, you very easily see the secret door and just pull the bookshelf open, uh, having to kind of move out of the way as it swings open. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it reveals a ladder. Cool. Why did I think that? Of course they don't. They're dead. What? I was about to be like, wait, do I need do I need water breathing on my ghoul? And it was like, no, he's dead. <laughs> he doesn't breathe. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. We do need water breathing on the small child we're bringing with us for some reason. Look, it's fine. He's proficient with a knife. I feel like Attribute should stay up here. What do you mean? It's hmm. fun scuba diving time with Dad. <laughs> hey! Except, except, except you, unless you want Briar to watch him. We're all the scuba. <laughs> yes. Unless you want to stick him with Briar. I mean, she's at a bar right now, yeah, and it's Briar. Right Isn't Darkalian with her? Yes. 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 Yeah, maybe we should. We should pick them up just so we're not leaving Joe out after he was left out for like nah it's fine <laughs> after he was gone for right, 20 minutes enough. I'm keeping an eye on Briar so. alright that's, that's a since noble Tori's... cause in itself well that and since Tori's not here it's kind of works out that way so it, no worries though okay. just making sure I, I mean so it's yeah it's all good I appreciate it though thank you yeah, nope. yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we get. I mean, you just target Vesic with water breathing. It's up to ten creatures. Yep. There's only five of us here, including him. So again, it's up to the party. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure my robot and my disembodied skull on hanging on my belt don't need water breathing. <laughs> that would be really <laughs> awkward if Omen did. <laughs> Considering he's already, he's just. He's drowning, but he can't die because he's already dead. 
Isn't he a lamp? No, he's no. a skull. <laughs> His soul was in the lamp, I think. But then I it's think in the so. Skull. It's in the skull yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've just lost track of Omen. No, it, uh, he doesn't come up that often. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. a bad omen. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Right. So you guys, guys I'm, gonna, I'm gonna feed you to the news. Weekly Wait, occurrence is volume two fifty eight. No. <laughs> no, the skeleton. You all, you all descend down. Boop, boop. Into the into the water, uh, there is a small platform, so the the ladder doesn't descend all the way into the water because it's made of wood. Uh, so Whoa. instead, it, it's resting on a platform. Uh, as you What's get the, close to the water, with the platform, oh, oh, also wood. I know, weird. What? Uh, <laughs> Yep, and there's a hole that you can dive into uh, to get Holy underground. Shit. Or underwater. It's underwater. Underwater. A hole is underwater? How are we diving into it if it's underwater? No, there's a hole that you dive through to go underwater. Oh! Hole, water, water, ground hole, man hand, car, door hook hand. Scary. Oh god, Robert dives. Uh, and there is a, a lantern that is attached to the. to the underside of this so it's like floating right above the water so you can see it from underneath uh k2 just steps out of his armor <laughs> <laughs> ah, you dickhead <laughs> <laughs> and it just kind of stands there where he leaves it <laughs> god damn it <laughs> he's just got like fallout fucking power armor <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Except instead of just standing idle, it's just T-posed. Yep. <laughs> for dominance. Yep. Accounting for the plate armor, I will get rid of that for the time being. For the sake of not being several hundred pounds more heavy. Oh, you know, that's probably a good idea. Good thing is, nah, still, got, still got a shield and weapons at least. Yeah. Can we swim with a shield? Technically. Uh. Shields I mean, aren't that heavy. Well, like it's, it's, yeah, but it's more it's like awkward. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like trying to swim with like a flipper in like on your hand. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's more just on the back until you need it. <laughs> Uh, as someone who has had to pull out a lot of people who are wearing normal clothes, I can tell you that just wearing normal clothes will heavily impede your ability to move in the water. Wearing yeah. a shield that is going to catch on the water as yeah, you move fair. would absolutely impede your movement. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Lifeguard life. Yeah. I, th I think it, if he had a swim speed, it would be a different thing. Sure, yeah, so, so like having a swim speed would impede you, yeah. Oh yeah, the Tritons all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. Rava, fine. The rest of us? No. Yep, alright. So yeah. Rava's armor, armor is even designed to be underwater, so, like, she's fine. <laughs> yep, so we're ditching the plate armor and the shield for the time being. She's chilling, she's just hanging out underwater, waiting for the, whoever comes next. So, <laughs> whoever Rava's it is, if they rough. freak out, she's there to be like, you're good! Chill. R Rava's just doing backflips underwater. Because <laughs> it's been a long time since she's been able to swim like this. Just waiting. Just waiting. Yep. You all prepare yourselves for the underwater life. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I feel like K2 and I are in the water much sooner because it doesn't take us that long, whereas for Hatchmere it's like 10 minutes. I've got the soul dagger on like a cool like knife holster on my thigh, and then over my back I have a heavy crossbow, uh, like, it, like it's a fucking harpoon gun. Even though <laughs> just casting spells is much more effective. Yeah. He just wants to look cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, K K2's got like a whole cosmetic. Yeah, K2's just got like a whole like shark hunter get up and just like Why? When did you have the time? <laughs> I am always prepared. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense. What? I got the ex the extended costume pack, okay? <laughs> God damn it. Damn it. It came with my winter gear skin. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, push underwater. <laughs> uh, no, wait, we're good. <laughs> yeah, push underwater with my strength of eight. <laughs> Alright, so you all Anyways. prepare yourselves, uh, dive into the water, and you can see pretty much right away uh, as you descend another 15 feet. Um, there is a city below you. It is... Very similar to up top. Uh, it looks like it has sunken down. And as you look up, the docks are right above you. So this is a part of a city that has literally sunken into the sea. Whoa. So did we have to go through that whole extensive thing, or could we have just dove in from the docks? But then everybody would know that we were here. I imagine this is about a... a kept secret yeah probably <sighs> whatever yeah uh, you can see down below you there are creatures swimming around within the, the sunken confines of the city okay <laughs> mm knew that was a thing still don't like it mm-hmm I mean, let's keep in mind, Ryan, that there's still a fucking thing right here on the map that concerns us. That's miles away. There's. It's not like it's slowly moving closer every time we look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a thing there, but there's also a thing there that we absolutely know is dangerous. This we don't know about, and it's fine. It's also, yeah, it's also, don't like... Don't think about it. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. Anyways... Yeah, I, I guess start our descent. All right. Yep, descend. Keep Anybody that would like right to. Yeah, well, you are above the city, or above this portion of the city, can make a perception check. It, what? Make a perception check if you want to look for red glowing onto the sea. Oh, okay. I heard it very differently, so I'm like, what the f that is the uh, that is wrong character, but right perception. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> yes. That's surprising. All right. I expected. To um. Here. So Edward and K two, uh, you guys would both see. Uh, off in different parts of the city. Uh, a red glowing. What? In different parts of the city, <laughs> you find a red glowing. I think Have he's you looking at your investigation. Y yeah, I, got, I rolled an oh. 11, Josh. Yeah, I was. I'm uh, lying, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Press K2. I don't have a plus 10 to perception. I have a plus 0. Yeah, I saw the 26, and I was like, ooh. And yeah, I, I, I can't roll a 26 without... Multiple sources of extra dice. I uh, I tell everybody in our psychic link that I definitely cast before we came down here. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah definitely. <laughs> it's like, hey, over there, got some red glowing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. So here's. Cool. Yeah, you uh. We, we are all much slower than Rafa. <laughs> yeah. You all swim off in that direction. And as you descend down, 
closer to the city limits, you uh, you catch the eye of a couple of these creatures. Well, their eyes are much bigger than ours, so yeah, that makes sense. As they uh, just kind of look up at you, and they, they seem to stop moving, and they watch you as you descend into the city. Um, it is very clear what these things are uh, as you descend in, because you were given a okay description of them. Uh, but they are the uh, the blot rail that Briar is oh, bring to Oh, right. That's a thing. Oh, good so we didn't bring her. Yeah, so they're more of the, uh, <laughs> the, the Twisted Mermaid. Uh, cool. So. <laughs> Some more deep one than Sahag. Yep. Damn it, I was hoping it was some funky little Quatoa belt. Quatoa fellas. Quatoa? Those guys are weird. <laughs> ah, yes. The God Makers. Yeah! I would love to meet them someday. I don't want K2 to meet them. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one K2 has to fight his psychic gestalt consciousness as it becomes a god. Anyways. Believe in us, B. B. <laughs> and you, uh, you swim down uh, and find the red glowing plant. Uh, just kind of, it's just there on like a, a slump of earth that has fallen with the city. It is very out of place. Like it, it's fallen in on top of like a road or a pathway. And it's grown there. Is it just one or is it several? Oh, uh, there's just one. How many did she want? Five. 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 Ugh. <laughs> uh, as you guys are here now, uh, one of the bot routes swims closer to you. Uh, from in front of you. So as you're looking at this plant, it kind of comes up to it from the other side and <laughs> looks looks down at it and looks up at all of you. Yeah, and aggressively meows. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it looks over at Vesic and it just keeps looking at Vesic. Um, I want to. I want to insight that shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't like that. Yeah, that's I, definitely I, high enough. Yeah, yeah um, I, I'm trying to determine what kind of like is this? Like, I'm gonna steal this kid. I'm gonna eat this kid. <laughs> um, more the first one. Okay. Yeah. Still concerning. Like it's it's definitely like considering its options right now. Bravo will just since like nothing was that Bravo will just kind of swim between them, just um give like a motion greeting for the water and just and we help you. It looks up at you, and like kind of a surprise, like it was zoning out, and then it just swims away. Yeah. Keep an eye on Vesic. Don't want it too far. Yeah. He's still around the neck. That wasn't predatory, but they might have other. Well, I don't trust any creature down here. Potentials for yeah. Keep it what's about us. <sighs> this is the first one. We still need four more. Somebody can go ahead and make a survival check for the other four. Are any of us yeah. even proficient in that? <laughs> I've got a plus three. Ah, oh, there yeah, you go. Plus you do it. Six. Yeah. Yeah, good. I have a plus zero. Ugh. Fifteen? Oh, that's high enough. Yeah, yeah. It takes you uh, the better part of an hour, uh, but you do find 
the other four uh, tucked away in various spots. They're definitely not something that would grow on like like be a plant on somebody's front porch, but you can find them within the ruins of the city in areas that have kind of overgrown. So, um, are there any more interactions with the Blotrol or? No, they, they kind of seem to be staying at a distance. Um, they're not so much aggressive to you. They're just kind of when they see you, they keep an eye on you. Suspicious. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. I'm guessing beyond that first one that was like staring at Vesic, the rest of them are going to just stare at us as a group, not just him. Yeah, none of them like even swim up closer, so. Gotcha. You're not sure if it's. Like, Rob is the only one that really has in depth knowledge of these things. Mm -hmm. And even she wouldn't know if they have, like, close range, like, vision or not underwater. Or if they are actually able to see a good distance. Well, that's all of them. So we should probably be heading back. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy enough as you guys peer upward. Uh, you can see the the lantern lit. Uh, around the, uh, the dock. The dock hole. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Alright, grab our stuff and get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting for another ten minutes as Ashmore puts his armor on over his soaked clothes. Yep. <laughs> I mean, we have access to press digitation. That's that's if K two wants to use it on anyone but himself. I don't know. I'm 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 low on on money. I might I might need to have to start charging for that. <laughs> well, wow. you can at least do it on me because I paid for your water breathing scroll, you dick. <laughs> yeah. Then <laughs> <laughs> this is my last gift to you. You're dry. This feels like a false equivalency, but fun. <laughs> Especially when I was only in charge, like, a silver piece. Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's not like it's a spell slot. <laughs> it's a silver to dry you off. Mm, but it's a silver! Oh my god, are you really that? <laughs> <laughs> Just a long, hard look at K2. Throw the silver at K2, he fumbles it and falls into the <laughs> falls back into the water. God damn it. <laughs> <clears throat> nah, I'll dry I'll dry everybody off. It's takes like five seconds. Ooh. Everybody has a little Back to the Future Part 2 instantly dry. <laughs> Except for Rava because she wants to be wet. It's her natural element. <laughs> Rob is attuned to the ocean. <laughs> K2 goes to cast it. Just, no! Okay, never mind. <laughs> I do the opposite. I shape water to make her more wet. <laughs> Just splash her. <laughs> right. So we guess we go back to the queen then. Real quick, did anybody else think the shaman was going to be like Ryan or uh, Joshua's next character? <laughs> A little bit, honestly. It's like, oh, it's the queen. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that would have been funny, but uh, at least on my end, no. <laughs> I, I know my character well enough to say no. Sure. <laughs> All right. Um, as you guys ascend the ladder, you enter into this strange wind tunnel effect that 
if you weren't dry, you are now. <laughs> <laughs> we just walked through and no! Uh, good thing I didn't charge you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Cage is saying that out loud internally. Damn it. <laughs> Charge you for a free service? Yeah. Damn it gets broadcast across the... <laughs> Redact that. I retract the statement. <laughs> Alright. And you guys exit out through the... Uh... Through the double doors, putting every, making sure everything is back to its original state before you leave. Mm -hmm. You head back up to the queen. Oh god, fucking stairs again. <laughs> it's more like yeah. a ramp. Up, yeah, up, well, still. Up, down, yeah. up, down, up. Listen, I went... no problem, I actually got super fit. I went to the Giant's Causeway in Ireland. It, like, I don't care how good a shape you're in. You, if you make that trip four times in a day... Huh. It's basically yeah. that scene from Kung Fu Panda where you're just going upstairs. And it's like... Huh. Yeah, it's not so bad on the down part, it's the up part that sucks. Yep. Alright. You enter, um, back in. <laughs> yeah, fair. Okay. Guessing shoot the, uh... In the... Probably still in the garden. Yes. Yeah. You, uh, you go into the garden, and she's in there gardening. Whoa! <laughs> it's just a corpse on the uh, ground. Yeah. <laughs> The, uh, oh, God. the body is not there. Here. Oh. Okay. Wait, we left it here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We left it on the floor, and she, uh, she's just in there humming to herself, and... I, I, I mean, we didn't know if she was gonna be casting the spell while we were gone, or if she needed oh, it for I, the ritual. Yeah, I assume she needed the flowers for the ritual. <laughs> I, uh... I just work here, man. Yeah, you guys <laughs> enter in, and it takes her a few seconds, but she, like, does a slight jump when she notices you. She's like, oh. <laughs> uh, Help! We have Atomir! How did she not hear us coming? <laughs> what, she, was, she was in her own little world. Wait, okay, not to mention, okay. Atomir is at least somewhat good at staying quiet. Clang, 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 clang. Although, to be fair, still, I'm imperceptive to the human eye. <laughs> to be fair, like, she's probably got a bunch of guards that sound exactly like that. Probably, yeah. yeah. She's also probably zoning the fuck out in her garden, too. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's just having the time of her life gardening. She's at, she's at no danger. Like, she's just, she's, like, careless. <laughs> Whatever. No, yeah, no danger, no immediate stress. Peekaboo! <laughs> look, it's us. <laughs> oh, look, it's us. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> it's us. Yeah, that's the one. That's Drax. Stressful danger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, uh, you, you yeah. enter and she, she, uh, after a few minutes, like, after a few moments, just, like, jumps. She's like, oh. Oh. That could have ended badly. Mm. Did you find the roots? Yes, we did. Yep. All right. Flewers. Flewers. Yeah, she uh, takes them from you and immediately sticks one of them into the pot that she was holding earlier. That makes sense. Ah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, these are ceremonial burial flowers. Oh. <laughs> ah, so they're not for the ritual. They're for no, the No, no, the ritual's done. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, she's okay. uh, resting in the other room. Oh, that's good news. That's great news. Yeah, I, I had to leave her because she kept yelling obscenities. And... <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, that's accurate. Yeah, that's accurate. Yeah. She uh, she isn't tied to the bed per se, but she is under a spell. So 
You'll have to carry her out. Alright. No. Okay. We greatly appreciate all of this. Yeah. Happy to help. Enjoy your gardening? Always. In any case, uh, I'll Ooh. go retrieve her and we can make our way out. You do so. <laughs> yup. And she, uh... She, she goes willingly, but this, she can't really move a whole lot. So, mm -hmm. she, she's just, like... Hard to move. <laughs> but look, look, it's look. Like, it's like dead weight. Look, look, it's fine. Ashmere can just carry her. And Vesic. And then she'll cool. scream at him once we get out. It's fine. Exactly! Uh, we'll just put her back in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that anymore! <laughs> She's no longer under the death status. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh yeah, I guess. Um I guess that wraps up now your unfinished business. I mean yeah, I guess. You know, I stay for dinner if you'd like. Yeah. I have to deal with my family, but you're welcome to. <sighs> Dealing with someone else's family after dealing with my own for a while is more of a welcome change. At least that's when I'm not bringing bad news to. You want to stay for dinner? Do you want to stay forever? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely rob his brother and then Tammy. <laughs> want to stay forever? Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> Might want to get Dark Alien and Briar. Yep. If Briar hasn't found her way into a bar fight and then into a jail cell. I'd be surprised if she did. Um, yeah, I don't. Either. I guess that's fair. Go to get the peeps. Peep, she peep. can't fight us because she's not here. Ha ha. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one Briar is the most agreeable. Oh no. She's God. <laughs> <laughs> uh fuck. And so Star Callion. We just got him back! No! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Do we go to the wrecked ship? Yeah. Uh, uh Dark Alien, was there anything you would would have wanted to do during this whole fiasco? Mm, no. Just talk with Briar about, you know, the little things that have happened during my apparent disappearance. Dark Alien is getting drunk. Watch. The week you've missed. <laughs> He's not getting drunk. <laughs> what do you mean? He can turn it on and off at will. I know, like, but he's not getting drunk okay. right now. Yeah, he's being the designated driver. <laughs> yeah, because Briar definitely is getting he's drunk. acting like he's as drunk as Briar is, but he is not actually Stone getting drunk. Stone sober. These people watching, catching up, you know, just stuff. Yeah, basically. But like I said, just the small talk of, you know, the little things like... Everybody's filled me in on all the major things that have happened, all the major plot points, but he's filling, getting on the details of, like, you know, <clears throat> the little things that happened in between town and, you know, traveling from here to there. And, you know, just every, all the little details that Briar can remember. When, in between things. sips. Or glugs, I mean, I, you, you I mean, don't judge. I was like, in between gulps. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't judge. Yeah, they're not, that's about it, really. 
All right, so you guys venture over to the wreck ship. Mm hmm. Yes. You find Darkalian and Briar inside. Whoa. Briar is passed out right now. So, this is a ship and a tavern? Seems to be, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty yes. cool. It was a working ship, and now it's a tavern. Was it put here? Grown, but yes. Oh! Hmm. What an impressive throw, for sure. This is one of several... Almost all of them got turned into taverns. What threw it? Yeah. I don't think we want to know. It's either oh. long gone or long dead, so... Or... sleeping. So yeah, I'm assuming that you go back with them, Dark Darkalion. <laughs> sure. And Briar by proxy. I'm going to assume, yes. She has no options. <laughs> Unless she speaks for herself right now. Oh wait, she's passed out. You can fix that so easily. <laughs> You're right, it could. <laughs> I might necessarily be able to hear more per charge, but you, you can do the stuff I can't. Ah. I, cool. I detox her, basically, real quick. Yeah. Real quick. Real quick. Oh no, duck cannon. Alright, you do so, and uh, you guys make your way back to the, uh, to the Aboleth residence. Yup. Definitely didn't forget that's Robert's last name, definitely not. Mm-hmm. I thought <laughs> it was funny. Internally, Ryan's like, Aboleth, no. <laughs> <laughs> just, just fell off my chair. It was more of a, uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it We're good. spelled slightly differently? Yeah, it's Abolath. Yeah, versus Abolath. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's same spelled different. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, as you enter in, there are two Triton males sitting at a chair uh, at a small table. It's a card table. Are they sitting on the same chair? Uh, no, actually, they're sitting opposite each other. Sorry, I should have specified. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you did say <laughs> two Triton males sitting at a chair. Yeah. I was like, I wouldn't be surprised. In the chair, opposite each other. They're sitting on um, tables facing the chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, man, T Tammy might. <laughs> Tammy's a real wild card. Uh, they're currently playing cards. Um, they seem to be playing a rousing game of Go Fish. God damn it, Josh. Uh... <laughs> wow, you even made Mike upset with that one. That's an accomplishment. <laughs> Mike loves shitty puns. It's just, it's just lazy. <laughs> it's low hanging fruit. It was great. It was more of a just like a self reference than a pun. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, just, yeah, well, it's the same quality of joke. Terrible. You, uh, you enter in, and Tammy looks over at all of you and says, Hello, ladies and sexy things. Oh, fucking degenerates. There's just a slight eye place. twitch from Ashmere. <laughs> slight eye twitch. <laughs> and child? It is... Atchemir's wife is conscious at this point, right? She's just kind of, like, sedated? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. 
Or I guess maybe she was always conscious, just sedated. Yes? Okay. I expect at any point there's going to be hand on throat. <laughs> Did you all get what you wanted to accomplish today? Yep. Yeah, for the most part. Why did I say that? Yes, yeah. But why do I feel like that's a trick question coming from you? What kind of tricks would there be? I don't know. Without the proper treats. Oh, God damn it! I made brownies. They're special. And he just like slinks backward into the kitchen. And your brother looks over at you and is like, he is in a special mood today. Is that to imply that- Is it different than normal? Wow. Okay. Heavy air quotes on special, I said. I love special things. <sighs> so Probably just kind of like leads on him, gives him a hug. He's just like, hi. I've missed you. miss coming home to whatever the hell I did that was your choice you know better sorry I was a little tied up yeah. uh, god you sound just like my brother surprise I made friends stop I am surprised <sighs> surprised we got married here we are well, you know what they say. No? Neither do I. I just wanted to say it. <laughs> Who are your friends? <laughs> um, then Edward looks sorry. at everyone else. <laughs> I introduce everyone. I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Would you expect any less? No. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. So she'll uh introduce the peeps. And be like, Go in, this is my brother, said Miss and Tammy, more or less. Mostly less, but. Stay for a couple days. Well, I'm saying That's fine. they stay for a couple of days, peace. I mean, if I tell you no, they're still gonna be here, so. Yeah, probably. As long as they know the house rules. <laughs> Need to Don't come upstairs. Yep. You got it. I'm looking around like, what? What house rules? Brian yeah. probably doing the oh, same. Right, Kelly, you're new to this. Hey, right, so, uh... My brother... and brother-in-law are slightly... horrible people. Uh, when you... at night... I'll, I'll show you your room. Uh, if you need to leave... Hey, don't really go upstairs. But if you need to go and get anything like a drink of water or, or food, just go out your window and buy something from the market. Don't, <laughs> don't come upstairs. Basically, leave the house if you plan to use the. Use the window. Don't don't use the <laughs> door. Window. Oh. Okay. Well, this is this feels surprisingly similar to home. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the second rule. How much special brownies did he eat today? Well, this is his fourth batch. Batch? Fuck! Uh-huh. What the fuck? Man is... <laughs> How's he breathing? <laughs> he is... He is... Literally baked. <laughs> He's as baked as a poorly prepared salad. 
I can't refute that statement, but what? Doesn't make sense at all. I don't get it, but it was funny. I get it. You don't make a sound, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get it. Oh, yeah, okay. I got it. Edward didn't. (laughs) Oh, that's funny. okay? If only you could see the faces Dark Hallion was making right now. If only you could see the face. (laughs) Tammy comes back in with a tray full of brownies. And just like sets them, it like quickly picks up all the cards and sets them off to the side and puts the brownies down and glances over and is like, Oh, you're new. You're all dark and mysterious. Have a brownie. Yeah. Yes, definitely. There's a long, judgmental look upwards as he's like, Child, no. Physics like reaching for it. He's like, okay. Thanks. Thanks. I'm good though. Have a brownie. He just sort. Of, he just sort of mouths the words to Physic of like. It just went from polite to threatening so fucking fast. <laughs> You like this. I'm curious to see what Dark Why Harry and High would be. You will never know. <laughs> That's the secret cap. He's always high. <laughs> so, why so many brownies? Because I had extra. And then I had more extras. And then more extras. And then I went to the store and bought more brownie mix and had more extras. Eight bits. <laughs> huh. Right. Why so many is the question. Ever tasted the air? I mean, I do every time I inhale. I think this is more of a no, have you really tasted the air? <laughs> or just look at some of this. And when you inhale, does it go into your lungs or does it go into your stomach? <laughs> you gotta take the deep breath. Uh, the just... wind down the windpipe. <laughs> but it fill your stomach. You, I feel like you're gonna make yourself sick. Please don't. I, I'm assuming with you know my passive medicine sciences, I don't need to roll to to clock this guy is. Stoned off his fucking mind. Fucked. Off his fucking mind. You say I that could... wasn't even deep. <laughs> no. I could so negate that with a simple touch. Good, but do you want to risk the wrath of Tammy? <laughs> do you want to touch Tammy? No. Nope. Yeah, th- yeah, that that, <laughs> that might get you in more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> Yes, she just doesn't dry on. Also, it definitely goes into the lungs. That's what the lungs are designed for. <laughs> Should I even bother trying presents now, or is this just I'm gonna go right over his head? So picture Tammy's just like staring off into space. Yep. <laughs> just head slowly reclining back. He's like he's seated back down in the chair. And he's just like his head is like slowly like slipping off of the seat. <laughs> They're playing goldfish because that's the only thing he can play right now. Yeah. Or was. Yeah, now he's now he's too distracted. Oh, oh no. Nestor's gone. Oh god, he's dead. Ah, uh, I was gonna when say. I was well, a somebody young else was going to. Yeah. God damn, Josh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Listen, we can't get too crazy. We got a long day of working at the docks tomorrow, K2 says, while he's eating a... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. He's eating one. He's pocketing, like, four. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just I'm just doing like the casual, just like just like tearing off a piece and eating them in little bits. He's not he's not the type to just fucking shove a whole brownie in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I feel like K, you know, K two in his college days would definitely have, but this one's a little wiser. <laughs> K two in his college days would be f have the brownie fed to him. <laughs> K two in his college days wouldn't have taken drugs. His high was murder. God. <laughs> All right. You What's found it was wizard duels. You found the core of my character. <laughs> I got bored of drugs and resorted to murder. <laughs> and then I was politely asked to leave firmly. All right. As you guys wind down for the evening, then uh, go ahead and take a short break here, so Nestor can figure his shit out. Oh, okay. <laughs> And Tori can maybe join us. Maybe. I doubt it. So that's good. So I will send us to breaks. So see you in a few.
and we are back. Alright, so you guys rest for the evening. Unless there was anything else you wanted to do in the meantime before then. Uh, ease, actually. Sorry, my nose is running. Uh, so like after and stuff and before everyone just goes to their own thing. Uh, I was just gonna uh I'll, like, walk up to her brother and just, like, give him this big, long hug. Even after, like, she stops squeezing, she's just bleeding against him. She's just... Miss home. Well, you're not that far away. You can always go back. You cut out a little bit, you say it would be easier up here, or would not be easier up here? It would be. Yeah, I mean... I go if it's a nice place. Place I've called home for years. I you know. Much to Mom's anger and annoyance. Well, that's because she doesn't like the surface, so she doesn't come visit. Especially after the last incident. That was all on you. No, that was her fault. She knew the home rules. Brought gifts for everybody. Kind of everybody. Please don't call me, it's more brownies. No. Oh, <laughs> it is not more brownies. <laughs> more brownies. The only thing about it, meant to get everyone gifts. Mostly just got the baby gifts. Nope. Oh, well, that was nice of you. I'm sure Tammy will be quite happy. Oh, you're not talking about Tammy. Oh, God, no. Oh, I'm not. The actual baby. Uh, I. Yeah. Your actual. Yes, your actual child. Well, it's hard to differentiate the two sometimes. Need to figure that out so much. Well, they both act like children. One of them is one. One of them. A little more than the other, and I'll let you figure out which one. <laughs> Should just kind of like look up and just. Tammy, you, you sure you want the family with Tammy with this? You sure? Got a nice ass. Sweet moment, you fucking ruined it. He <laughs> just shrugs. That tattoo shop looks still there. Uh, I think so. Haven't been there for a while. Go get my. Yeah. That's exciting. Shit now. Too old. 
life has barely started. I feel older than I should then. Work. Well, I've seen who you travel with. And I gotta say, stressful. Very stressful. Yeah, until uh, earlier in the day, Mrs. Atramir was uh, not even alive, so it's been a of a couple weeks. Is that the one that was more like a like a piece of wood, like just kind of sitting there in that other guy's arms? Gotcha. Majesty brought her back and did not appreciate that she was upset. Who brought her back? Her Royal Highness. Oh, Melody. Okay. Never call her by her name. That woman terrifies me. She's a sweetheart. She puts up with so much shit. Yeah, so do you. Actually, no, that's a good point. Kind of proved yourself there, didn't you? Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> I'll never admit defeat. I know. I know you. So, your tattoos. Love ones. They're long overdue. Feel like you've experienced enough in your life to get them. Well, I'll see, as the elders slightly begged me to just at least get one before I left, yeah? She'll just kind of like lean against him and she just died once. Did you? You're now still, but dead. How was that? What do they say about the afterlife? Is it true? That's heartwarming. I was back. Did you at least get the opportunity to see him again? What do you mean? I have a family curse. We have a family curse? And things? And things and words? Oh, hi! I can hear you. Bad time to interrupt, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to fucking reboot and just work again. That was weird. Sorry. <laughs> I had no control of that. Um... Christ. Okay. Um... I'll just shake her head and just, no. This family does. 
is always gonna die before the wedding. What do you mean? How do you... I don't understand. In our travels, we found a book of familiar curses. Jameer was on there for a while, but this got fixed. And lo and behold, as I'm looking on it, this book, its family name comes up. Was it like firstborn in general or the first son? The uh, the first son. Okay, yeah. Um, there, it is. family name. The firstborn son. About die before they are wed. It really sucks. It almost seems harder to cope with knowing it's a curse and an accident. I guess it could have been an accident as part of the curse. Or maybe it was just an accident, it had nothing to do with the curse. It was just strange timing. I just like roughly like rub her eyes. Um, she's like, oh, I don't. He just grabs you and pulls you in for a closer hug. She just, like, stands there with him for a while. She is, like, just silently crying a bit. She's just, oh, today was supposed to be a happy day. I came home. I was... Here I am, crying. Fuck. I love you too. Love even Tammy happy too. moments bring tears. <laughs> love Tammy too, even though he's a little shit sometimes. Well, he's a little shit all the time. You know, it's weird. I sent him out for drinks an hour ago. He is so high, he probably fell asleep. It probably did. Go rescue him before he... He wakes up uncomfortable and gets mad about it again. <laughs> yeah, I th I should do that. <laughs> In the morning, I'll find him with gifts, and hopefully one of them isn't broken. And we can hear him right about how I didn't get him anything. It'll be fun. 
Well, you got him eye candy. And I gotta say, I don't think you could ask for anything more. Never Especially asked. when he's this high. Right, the man can walk straight. Okay! Man doesn't do anything straight in his life. Hmm. Yep, that was squirting on my part. <laughs> right. That note, have fun finding your husband. I'm going to bed. I'll give him another hour, then I'll go look him. Last time he wasn't even halfway to the store. But that's fair. Sometimes he stops to look at the butterflies and taste the flowers. Sometimes. Sometimes. Because sometimes I'll look at the flowers and taste the butterflies. You sent this man alone. Okay! He's his own menace. It's fine. I mean, he's an experience. That's for, that's for sure. Good night. Good night. Esther wanted to group, see what the fuck's going on, so. And group? What for Nene's? Group? 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 And we go group? Group? Big group? Group, group time. You all convene in the lounge that's downstairs. <laughs> okay, sure. Every chair in this lounge is a beanbag chair. Mm. Except for one, it's a massage chair. Am I sitting in this thing right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Probably just shrugs and probably. So just like flop down onto one of the bat the chairs. I feel like my legs aren't supposed to be at this angle. So what's up? What are we doing? I'm vaguely referring to the weird way K2 is sitting in the massage chair. <laughs> I don't think I want to trust that massage chair. Oh, I pressed digitated before I sat down. What? <laughs> I've, I've been pressed digitating a lot of things in this house. Smart. You don't, don't yeah, that, you grab that seems house. like for the best. Yeah, you're all together. Who called this meeting? It's too for an email. Jumair <laughs> <laughs> called this meeting. Oh. Well, um. Edward, I assume you have no further plans for the time being. Not exactly, no. Mm. Once, uh... Basically, once Shane is more coherent from the, uh... Recent, uh... Reanimation and, uh, Resurrection... Um... Yeah, Resurrection's probably the better <laughs> term for it. Reanimation more tends to refer to what I do. Yeah, basically, once she's more coherent, uh... 
plan to have a discussion and um, most likely I'm probably going to retire from this whole uh, business that involves the danger of myself, you guys, and the adventuring as a whole. What, no. To go back to a city full of crime where it's likely just as dangerous? Probably not. Uh, probably not back to Cardinals. Got some coin. We uh, got coins stashed at your home, Edward. We'll yeah. probably uh, spend a couple of days here. Most part, make our way back to Serenia, grab the chair. Yes. Probably find somewhere quiet. I mean, nothing happens in Kellen Falls. But Nash got the Kellen Falls burning to the ground. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How the fuck? <laughs> Wanted to know if anybody had any, uh, unfinished business that they might have needed my help with before I, you know, hang up the bandolier, so to speak. I feel like in this situation, Briar would say something. Oh, yeah! Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Already went, went through Reeland and Edward and now Atramere. Mm-hmm. Uh... I mean, I don't really have anything now. Hmm. Well, I get it, man. Just got your wife back, your kids healthy. You want to keep it that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and you uh, got. And you, uh, have a fair amount of coin to retire on. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows, I might... You know... Might end up coming back here, it's not... It's, it's a nice town. Find a good bit of work here. Yeah. Ten gold an hour? That's crazy. Just to do dock work? Doing what I am barely capable of, yeah. Busy can get a bit loud sometimes, but really nothing crime wise happens here. Uh. Might be for the best then. Mm hmm. Might be more children around Vesic's age too, so he has other people to hang around with. We might be able to, you know, actually get out of the business. I... Honestly, I saw this coming for a while. This probably would have happened sooner had things not gone the way they had. All in all, and if for whatever reason you do need any of my abilities, don't be afraid to ask. But other than that, I will, once she's awake, tell her that we are officially out of the business of murder, crime, all of General, the General Skull Dukery. <laughs> <laughs> General Skullduggery, yeah. <sighs> I mean... Actually, Edward, depending on when you're going to leave, we might hitch a ride with you. 
I mean, I don't think I'm gonna hang around too much. I want to try to at least spend some time with Charles and my mother before I'm heading off. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. I guess I'll still technically be putting myself in harm way in harm's way considering I'll be away from Serenia, but You'll be doing what you do best. Yeah. yeah. That's such a cute game. I love this. Here, you join my share screen. It's I don't need for this to be any more. Take up any more of your time, but yes. I... Once she's up, I'm retiring. And, uh... So, what you're saying is, we got time for one last job. Mm. <laughs> One last job. This will set, set, set us up for the rest of our lives. Turn to Darkalian. I know this is a bit sudden for you, given your circumstances. It's like everybody's planning to leave all at once. What the fuck happened? A lot. A lot. I, I... I will admit... This isn't how I wanted to break the dues to you. But I figured... Make sure you all are in... Relative peace and quiet. Before I... Uh... You know... Told you, better now than after. You know we've murdered five people for trying to stab us in the back. What? <laughs> Does that happen to us? Or am I forgetting <laughs> something? No, previous experience before I've met you guys. Ah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. I was about to say, somebody left out a big chunk when they were explaining what happened in the last <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> uh. Look. This was technically goodbye. It's more of a see you later. Whatever you end up, at least. Yeah. Besides, I hate goodbyes. I fully intend for you guys to visit and have drinks regularly. We'll see. Only if you're paying. <laughs> Look at A2 cheap ass best. <laughs> I don't have any money right now, dick. <laughs> you have all of it. <laughs> You got a whole chest <laughs> of money. Mine's, mine's in offshore accounts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> offshore accounts and real estate. Emily laundered. <laughs> K2's a little cash poor right now. <laughs> it's, uh, it kind of be the time to say, uh, I'm probably going home. You guys head to Sarnath. <sighs> Come on, one more we got bingo. <laughs> <laughs> one more. <laughs> one more in and we got bingo. <laughs> Yeah, one more. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to confirm what I just heard. Are you telling me that the only two members of the party that are actively staying together at this point are Kate and Briar? And the Dark Alien. He's here. And Tori's not here to hear it. And Tori's not here to hear it. Oh, okay. <laughs>
I yeah, know, I'm going back to being not here, here. but then I'm you brought it up, so like. Uh, I was gonna... uh, okay, I'm, I'm going back to not being here. I'm sorry. <laughs> he was going to announce his exit this session anyway. It's just oh, so happened. Toy didn't fucking show up. <laughs> Tori had a vision of the future. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I'm not showing up for this. <laughs> I'm not showing up. Everybody's <laughs> leaving. <laughs> yeah. This is this is Tori checking out of the campaign as a whole. Just like, no, nah, everyone's changing characters. I don't want to play anymore. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. That's a that's a load off my back. It's funny how we wanted to go to Sarnath for the longest time, and now that we're actually getting there, most of us are not even going! Look, I, I just mean... Kind of shrugged. She's just like, dude, I, it's not really... I, I, I just she's think it's funny. I know. Nobody's changed, man. No, I, I, it's not like it's not, any of it's for like frivolous reasons. I just think it's funny. You uh, know, so what reason do I have to go to fucking Sarnath? I don't know. You know, that's probably for the best. That way, whoever we hire to help us break into the prison underneath the capital, uh, they're all expendable then. You... <laughs> you want to break into the prison underneath the capital? There's a prison underneath the capital? I'm pretty sure I've told you guys this. <laughs> I think you... I, I think you have. I think Edward just forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah. so... Because it, it wasn't ever relevant for Edward. <laughs> Also, Astromir is now realizing the weight of those words strung together. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So, well, it's also dramatic irony because obviously the the new people would be you guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. Surprise! Surprise! Yeah. We'll be in a third <laughs> character. Surprise! Mike wants to kill us all. No, we're, just Mike. Me you're not behind. even the DM. Put down, the knife. Put, down, put down the knife. Put down the knife. Bad Mike. Bad. Down. You know, you know maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing, considering that is... Of all of the places I have broken into, sounds like the dumbest idea. And I've heard some dumb ideas. I mean, if... Anyone I know was able to, it would be K2, so... Yes. I mean... It, it, sure does, wants... it doesn't hurt when you look like them, and I suddenly look like a dragonborn, and I talk like them, I say in Draconic. <laughs> I just looked at Edward like, maybe... maybe it's a good thing. Out of all the K2 um, ideas, we're not getting this one. Question. Is, is this K2 using the spell, or is this K2 having draconic proficiency? This is K2 having designed a spell so that anybody that hears him speak it thinks he's a native language speaker. Right, yeah. <laughs> so he's so basically using the spell then. Okay. Yeah. The irony being, you have enough spell slots that you probably could have just taken, like... Well, I, 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 no, that's that's the point. I didn't want tongues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a K two special. Yeah, because tongues, it they just understand you. Yeah, yeah. They, it just auto translates. Like they understand you, but they can tell you're not speaking the language. As I wanted to this. I wanted a spell that specifically gave me proficiency in the language and makes it seem like I'm a native speaker. Proficiency as per native. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Also, Ryan, I don't think you want the K two special. I I don't know. <laughs> It's what, correct. <laughs> it's what killed John Belushi. <laughs> 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 Fucking Christ! Mate. Bad. <laughs> Bad. Oh, wait, never mind. That was a speedball. That's something else. Stupid. <laughs> Don't worry. When you're watching this. Uh... Sorry. I'm sorry for the delayed emotional damage. Actually, we love you. I'm we not. You. Should have been here. Bitch. Bitch. Uh. <laughs> huh. I turned back hmm. into normal K2. 
Right. Hmm. Well... Event for the last week, and a half, yeah. two weeks. Yep. I'll go and face plant into bed. <laughs> How close is the ocean? Uh, well, you gotta go out the window, uh, walk down a ramp, and then you're on the dock. And the dock is above the ocean. So, you know, like a 15, 20 minute? If? Yeah, it's like five. <laughs> Alright, fair. Dark alley in. Heads towards the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a reflective type of heads towards the ocean, or a He's I'm gonna dive into the ocean? From again. <laughs> it's a uh, stop talking and listen kind of motion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you head off to the ocean. It is dark, so there docks are. Very peaceful. As the king is nowhere to be seen. The usual dock workers are few and far between. Uh, there's guard patrols that are out and about. But it's very peaceful as opposed to the general busy nature that accompanies it during the day. Okay, so he will walk to the end of one of the docks and uh, just kind of sit down and meditate for a little bit, like maybe half an hour, just to kind of gather his thoughts. And then afterwards he will stand up, he will reach into his bag, pull out the mask, and look at it. After about a minute, he tosses it into the ocean. And then he stands there for another right. minute or so, then goes back to his room. You uh, you toss it into the ocean. Which, which mask is it you're throwing in? Uh, the one I was working on with everybody's designs. Oh, okay. Uh, you toss it into the ocean... Uh, go ahead and make me a perception check. Wow. I have a plus seven, guys. Wow. Yeah, pretty shitty. Okay, yeah, you... DC wasn't very high, but you didn't get it. Uh, that did not you, you, toss, you toss the mask into the ocean. Uh, it just impacts as you would expect it to. And nowhere to be seen afterward. Okay. Well, like I said, I'll kind of look out on the ocean for another minute or so, and then Head back to his room. All right. Oh God, he's dead again. Oh no. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, on your way back, go ahead and make another perception check. He's back. Yep. Yeah. Let's try this again. Come on, the plus seven work. Hey, hey there, there you, go. you go. Hey, nice. Yeah, as you uh, you turn to head back and make your way back toward the house, 
Um, hidden amongst some of the crates that were left on the dock, uh, you hear a muffled sneeze. Can I tell roughly which direction it was from? Yeah, yeah, it's, it was just amongst the, the pile of crates that are nearby, so it'd be off to your right at this point. Okay, I'll glance over that general direction and say, bless you? There is no response. Terrifying. Kind of want to look into it, but at the same time, I'm good. I'm gonna keep heading back. <laughs> All right, you do so. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it's someone's character being introduced. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Well, yes, it, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try again next week. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you hear one of the, as you walk away, uh, one of the crates shifts slightly, falls, and you hear, fuck! <laughs> you, you okay? Do you need help? It's quiet. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, this is Vesic. <laughs> the, the funny part is, all in the, all I hear in my head is saying, "It's a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap! Don't do it! It's a trap!" It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go investigate. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! There you go. That's the D and D spirit. This is a terrible idea. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Let's fucking do it. You are uh, fast like a band aid. You go over to the stack of crates, uh, and it does not take you very long. As searching through them, uh, you find a young girl who, hard to you know, precisely estimate her age, uh, but you're guessing late childhood, early teen, somewhere in there. Um, just very, like, she's very well hidden. But obviously the very slight mistake of sneezing and then hitting the crate as she tried to move. Uh, not her best choice. Uh, so yeah, you have found a lost child or a hiding child. And uh, that's where we'll end session. Hmm. Oh, joy. Huh? What's worse than a rapist? A child. A child. A child. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to end the recording here. So thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next week with whatever the f that was. Bye. Yikes. Woo.